Seville is one of Europe's hottest cities. From shade to climate shelters and high-tech solutions, the city is rolling out a string of measures to combat the scorching heat. On the outskirts of Seville is Cartuja Canat, a $5.6 million project designed to cool the area by around 18 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not doing it with air conditioning, but using water and air and architectural design. The key is a cooling system called the Kanat, inspired by the canals dug by ancient Persians in what is Iran today. It works by building a network of underground pipes and tubes. Porque no es un aire acondicionado al uso eh, como lo que puedas tener en tu casa, que es un aparato que enfría el aire y demás. Es decir, se utilizan siempre técnicas eh, naturales. ¿vale? De estas tres estancias lo que se trata es de crear un, un acondicionamiento térmico del, del espacio. Es decir, que eh, dentro de, de estas estancias nosotros consigamos una reducción de la temperatura en relación al exterior. During the night, water cools by running through an aqueduct outside and over the solar panels on the square's roof. Then it's stored in a giant tank underground. When the day starts to get hot, solar-powered pumps push the water through small pipes in front of fans. That generates cold air, which gets circulated through small openings on the floor. Aquí esto, digamos, pero todo se basa en generar agua fría, que luego se utiliza para generar aire frío. The project has been stopped for a while amid technical reasons that have delayed the completion and also changes in the local administration. This shows that even promising climate solutions face political and financial hurdles. Still, the pilot could become a blueprint for lowering temperatures in large outdoor spaces or transport hubs. Seville is using a string of other strategies to mitigate the heat including installing public fountains, planting trees, and setting up climate shelters like this one at a public library. On a practical level, many residents here only venture out when the sun goes down, and local festivals are only scheduled to start from 10 p.m. In 2022, Seville became the world's first city to give the most intense heat waves a name, similar to hurricanes and storms in some places. Naming the heat wave will help people to understand that there is an anomalous situation in the city, that there is a dangerous situation in the city, and take measures and take some kind of preventions against the climatic impact of the heat wave. While Seville is taking steps to address extreme heat, much more needs to be done to keep people safe. En estos días que se, llegamos a esos picos de temperatura, pues la verdad es que el sevillano se desespera mucho antes, eh, la calidad de vida empeora un poquito, se duerme mal, eh, notas como al día siguiente eh, tenemos un poquito de peor humor. Sí, sorprendentemente Sevilla, que es una ciudad que históricamente ha soportado altas temperaturas y que ahora el cambio climático se va a notar también, vamos a tener que soportarlo, está poco preparada para, para, para amortiguar esas altas temperaturas, ¿no? Sevilla es una ciudad donde se ponen toldos pero muy poco, donde hay un gran patrimonio verde, una masa arbórea, pero falta mucho más. Much is still missing for residents in this part of Seville, which is Spain's poorest neighborhood. What we got to know today is the reality of most of the people that live here. These are very vulnerable families, children, old people who don't have enough money to pay for electricity bills, who don't have the insulation uh, in the homes, who don't have access to air conditioning. And all the solutions that the town hall is putting in place in the city center, they're just not arriving here. We're seeing big streets with no shade and no fountains to be seen anywhere. Seville isn't the only city under threat. Even under optimistic climate forecasts, London could get Barcelona's climate by 2050, while temperatures in Madrid could resemble those in Marrakech.